hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Sophia my word of encouragement today is taken from the book of Proverbs 16 verse 7 it's, it, it's, it states when a man's ways pleases God he makes his enemy to be at peace with him I just want to use this this um, Bible verse to encourage someone that, listen no matter what the enemy is got to say about you no matter what your haters have got to say about you or the opinions they have about you will not distract the plans of God upon your life God's ways are just and faithful when the Lord wants to bless you he will not listen to what brother A is got to say about you or brother B is got to say about you you just have to play your cards right you listen to the scriptures you read the scriptures you lead by the scriptures as your manual you are good to humanity you're good to God that's what I call the Ten Commandments being good to God or showing love to God and love to humanity when you do that whatsoever anybody else says will not influence God's decision on your life or if that will, whatever people have got to say about you will not alter God's plans upon your life if God says I'm gonna bless sister Sophia with this that is coming because I have a covenant with God. I am going to serve the Lord with all my heart, with all my strength. I will lead my life according to the scriptures. I will lead my life to be just and be faithful unto his presence. That, that's all that God wants. If I'm faithful to God, I'm good to humanity. Bingo, that is done. You may have your opinion about me. I may have your opinion about you. My opinion about you cannot change any plan that God has got for you. So please just put that in your head that people who have, they will definitely have opinions and opinions about you, but that will not alter anything. Make sure your life is just. Make sure you are living a righteous and faithful life to God. That's all that is needed. Nobody can tell anyone, don't talk about me. Don't go on social media to say this about me. Don't go on this two platform to say about me. When you see someone, don't talk about me with a person. It's not possible. It's not doable. All you need to do is stay focused. Read your Bible. Stick to the scriptures. Do what you need to do. That will please God. That will please humanity. Be at peace with people. If you are wrong, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean to offend you. Please forgive me. You leave it there. Whether they accept the apology or not, the scripture says, seek peace and pursue it. You have sought peace by apologizing. That I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. You've done your part. You move away. If the person forgives you, fine. If they don't want to forgive you, just leave it. Pray to God that God touches their heart for, for them to forgive you. So to cleanse their heart of that bitterness or that pain that they've, they've, they've harbored against you. Pray that the Lord touches your heart to let go of that pain. I'm going to share a testimony with you. If my husband and I have an argument or we have a misunderstanding, usually, or in the past, let me phrase my words exactly. You, uh, in the past, if we have an argument, I go to sleep at the edge of the bed, he goes to sleep on the other edge of the bed. Nobody wants to get close to the, each other. One day, I think I was listening to Pope Francis, the new Pope, the new Catholic Pope, and he said, make sure you go to sleep with peace in your heart. Take away every pain from your heart. Make sure you are at peace with your soul and peace with, with God before you go to sleep. Because you never know, that could be your last sleep. So one day, my husband and I had an argument again. And we were going to sleep. I slept at the edge as usual. He slept on the other edge as usual. And I was lying there and this someone came into my mind. And I go, God, I don't want to be the loser here. But listen, the Bible says, do not let sun set upon your anger. So I said, good night. I love you. It took him about 30 seconds to a minute before he responded. And he goes, good night. I love you too. At least I've done the right thing. But I, apolo I, I apologize. I just said, good night. I love you. I've tried to make peace before I went to sleep. And the next morning, we all woke up in peace. But let me tell you one thing about that night. I slept so sound, soundly, sorry. I slept so soundly because I made peace before going to, to sleep. Usually, I'll be tossing and turning on the bed. I can't sleep because I'm so angry. I've got so much pain and anger within myself and I can't sleep. 
but I made peace with him. I said, good night. I love you. And I went to sleep soundly. And the next morning, life went on as usual. Nobody had a grudge against each other. So make sure you are at peace with yourself and peace with those around you and lead according to the scriptures. Live a righteous and a faithful life to please God because he is the only one who is who has got the power to make the ultimate decision upon your life. Whatever people say about you doesn't bother God, but what you do to people bothers God because you're not living a righteous way. Make sure your ways are just. Make sure you're living a clean and, 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 and good life. That's all God wants from us. It's not easy when someone is provoking you and you have to keep quiet, but it's doable. You can do it. Just walk away. Make sure you are clean. Make sure you are just. And the Lord will always be there for you. When the Lord is blessing you, they, they'll be surprised. Oh, why she got this? Oh, why she got that? This ugly girl, this girl, this boy, this, 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 that. You can have opinions about me. I can have an opinion about you, but that is not going to destroy what the Lord is planned or what the Lord is assigned to happen in your life. Make sure that you and your God are mother and daughter. You and your God are father and son. You are close to God as much as possible. You pray, you fast, you give to people if you can. You are there to support people. You don't go backbiting anyone. You don't go causing and creating confusion between people. You are living a righteous and a faithful life. You are doing the best for humanity. You are obeying the scriptures. You are living a righteous way. That is done. And let the Lord take the way. Let God make a way. Let God guide you in everything that you do. People will do anything about you, against you, but there's nothing that you can do physically against them. All you have to do is that the, the scripture says, pray for your enemies and do good to them. And you turn into a coal, um, um, coal of fire on their heads. Continue to do good to them. Let them be bitching and talking about you all the time. But you do good to them. Make sure you are peace with them. Well, you know who they are. You know what they are doing against you. But you are living a righteous way. You are living the scriptures. You are living by the scriptures or by the word of God. So just watch them. Let them do their thing. You do your thing. When the Lord start moving, God will drive them all away from your life. God will drive them away because they don't they don't need to be around you. The scripture says, light and darkness have got nothing to do. Where there is light, darkness cannot prevail. So when you let light of God fall upon you, rain upon your life, those in darkness around you, they'll start running away from you. They'll start running. They'll start running. Before you realize this person, you can't hear from them. This person, you can't hear from them. They don't call you. You don't call them. It, it, it happens naturally that those that are not meant to be in your life, they start moving away. And God will bring people that will help you, people that will mold you, people that will build you into his kingdom, come closer to you. I am a living testimony about that. People that are not, are not needed to be in your life. God will drive them away from you. And God will bring people that are God-fearing. People who are living a righteous life. People who are doing what God is expecting. We children of God to do. We believers to do. God will bring those people to you. To mold you. For you to be a better person. To serve the Lord with all your might and with all your strength. So please. Don't forget this thing that I'm saying to you. Lay your ways pleases God. And God will make your enemies be at peace with you. If they don't want to be at peace with you, God will drive them away. The light upon your life will drive them away. You've done nothing to them. You've not offended them. But they cannot stand the light of God upon your life. So they will move away. They will, they will vanish. You've not sacked them. You've not fought with You've not had a fight. You've not had any beef, any argument. But the Lord will drive them away. So you live a life that God will bring people that will help you in the kingdom of God. God will bring people that will mold you and support you. Not these fake friends. People that are, they are, you don't know who they are. They're only around you to beat you, to bite, bite you, to destroy you, stab you in the back. Those are not friends. You don't need those people in this journey or on the journey that you're going on to. I'm going to end the sermon here. Please live a righteous and a faithful life to God. And leave the rest for God to take control. Leave, leave the rest for God to maneuver your ways for you. So long as you're living according to the scriptures you are living a holy life 
you are giving to humanity, you are giving to God, you are listening to the scriptures, you are reading the scriptures and abiding by the scriptures, you are fine. Your haters will have an opinion about you. They will go moving from point A to point B, saying Sophia is this, Sophia is that, Sister Mary is this, Sister Joyce is this, Sister Mavis is this. They will say everything and anything, but lay your ways, please God. Either they come back to make peace with you or the Lord will drive them away from you so you can be in peace and God will replace them with people that will help you, nurture you in the kingdom of God. I thank you all for the support you've given me throughout the past three months or two months or so. Those who have subscribed, thank you so much. And those who are yet to subscribe, please do so and help me grow in this, in this um, channel, uh, grow this channel that I've started. I'm going to ask you to please share my videos, leave comments at the comments box, subscribe, and let's build this channel up. I thank you for all the good words, for your time that you're wasting watching these videos and everything. I thank you all for the, the efforts you're putting into this to help me or to support me or to push me to go higher. May the Lord be with you and protect you in everything and any way or anything that you are doing. May the peace of the Lord be upon you. May the light of, of, of light of God shine upon your life. That no weapon formed against you will, will prosper. No principalities, no rulers of darkness will prosper against you. I soak each and everyone watching this video in the blood of Jesus. God, there is power in the blood. And when they see the blood, they will flee. When they see the blood, they will run. When they see the blood, they cannot prevail because there is power in that blood. May the grace of the Lord be with you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Shalom. Peace. I love you all. Bye.